let's say for example you just finished installing Google Chrome and you're used to using it in the desktop environment well in Windows 8 that's just not the case when you get your application Google Chrome installed you simply click Google Chrome and it runs in the new Windows Start UI in the new Windows Start UI you're able to open Google Chrome or whatever browser you are choosing to use and it no longer has to deal with the taskbar or menu bar from top to bottom so the browser is able to take more advantage of screen real estate than ever before now let's say for example you want to switch between the browser but not close the browser and lose your open web pages all you have to simply do is hold your mouse into the far left corner of the screen and drop down and you'll bring up the application switcher in the application switcher you just simply go to whatever application you're wanting to go to or in my case I'm going to use the start screen as an example I'll click into the start screen and get back to it and then say I want to go back to Google Chrome and continue where I left off all I have to do is go back to the top left corner and drop down and bring up application switcher once more and then click Google Chrome and it continues on the web pages that I was on previously without having to close or anything now let's say for example I'm completely done using Google Chrome and I would like to go back to the start screen and have Google Chrome be closed all you have to do is go back and hover your mouse into the top left corner and drop down and bring up the application switcher once more now you choose the apps you want to close by right clicking and hitting close and then the application switcher will disappear once all apps have been closed how do you use the Windows Store in Windows 8 and how can you take advantage of it when you get into the start UI you find the Windows Store shopping bag and it says store on it and you click to run and it will open up to a shopping bag with the little dot spinning around just as it does when your Windows boots and then you'll be brought to this screen this screen is the store screens main area that you want to be in or that you start in to get applications the spotlight section shows a mixture of different apps from different categories that are the top apps right now you can scroll or swipe or however you're using Windows 8 you can move further to the right and see the different categories that apps can fall under I'm just going to use games for an example and you see all these apps here are some games just for you to see what games are some of the games that are in the games category I'm gonna click on top free so I can see what top free apps are available once I get into the top free games section I can look for an app that I want to get to play whatever game I want to get I am for example I'm just gonna go with this grinder game I'm going to click it and when I do I'm able to see an overview in pictures of what the app looks like or in this case the game and then I can scroll down and see a description of the game and then over here I have the ability to rate and install I'm going to click install once the uh, application begins to install you will be brought back to the last screen you're on to continue looking at apps now say you've installed or looked at all the apps you want to look at and you want to get out and go uh, go view the apps that you've just installed all you have to do is either go down to the far left corner and access the start screen or come over to the top right or bottom right corner and access the charms bar in the charms bar you're able to click the start button or the start charm now once you get back to the start screen you're gonna wonder where is my app well you would probably catch your eye on it pretty quickly but every time you install a new app it's on the farthest right area of the start screen 
All you have to do is scoop to the farthest right area of the screen and there's your application. Now you're able to click with the left mouse button and hold and move the app to wherever you want to put it. To play the app, you basically click it and it will run and it will do whatever function that app is designed to do. In this case, it's a game. Now, when you are finished with the app, you basically have to hover in the top right or bottom right to bring up the charms bar to get back to start or hover in the farthest corner, the farthest left bottom corner on the left and you'll be took back to the start screen again. Now, as I said before, in the browser clip, the application is still running. You have to go over to the farthest left corner on the top and drop down to reveal the application switcher. In the application switcher you'll see that your app is still running. To close it you just right click and hit close. What if you want to uninstall an application that you've installed from the app store? You simply go to the application in question, right click it, it will become highlighted and you will get a menu bar at the bottom of your screen that will have little um, icons for different options and you'll see an option for uninstall. You simply click it and a message will appear telling you this application and its related info will be removed from this PC. And you simply hit uninstall and you will see the application disappear from your start screen. How do you access classic Windows features such as desktop accessibility, control panel accessibility, and changing your desktop's wallpaper, and all the things that a classic Windows 7 style desktop UI would offer to you? It's simple. Basically, go and I have the computer. Um, pinned to my start screen but you automatically have desktop pinned to your start screen when you first get Windows 8 installed. I switched it to computer so that I could make myself get more used to using the start screen because that's, because that's essentially the way you're supposed to use Windows 8 is with the start UI being your central area of being at all times. So if I want to access the computer or any desktop functions, I've got it set up to where I can just click on computer. Now when you, whichever way you have it set up for your personal liking, whenever you do access the desktop, say you want to get to classic desktop features like the control panel. All you have to do is pull up your charms bar and click on the settings charm. When the settings charms appears, you'll see that you'll have options for control panel, personalization, PC info, and help. If you click control panel, you'll be brought to your classic control panel where you can access everything on your system just as you would in Windows 7. Then if you want to access personalization to be able to change your desktop background and color theme, you just bring up your charms bar and then you go to personalization and the personalization window will appear just as it did in Windows 7. And I know I've done discussed charms several times in this video already, but it's because charms make up everything you do and every way that you access and use Windows 8. To access the charms, you hover your mouse either in the top farthest corner in the right of your screen or the bottom farthest area of the right corner of your screen and you will bring up the charms bar. On the charms bar you will get the charms options to search that's a charm individually and you will have the share charm, the start button or charm and the device charm and the settings charm. Let's take a look at where else in Windows you will find charms. Not only do you have the charms bar, but you will also have when you are accessing different things you want to do with application tiles in the start UI, 
you will have this. Like, let's see, for example, I'm going to use the ABG TuneUp app. When I right click on this application, I will get a menu bar that has a set of charms for you to choose the options you want to do with the application that you've selected. And that's basically charms. And lastly, the lock screen. To access the lock screen, you simply go to your user identification area at the top of the uh, Windows Start UI. You Click and select lock screen from your Usernet user identification um, area. To modify the lock screen or change lock screen settings, go to your charms bar and select settings. From the menu that appears, go to change PC settings. Change PC settings will load and you will immediately be brought to personalization and from personalization the first thing that will be selected is the lock screen. The lock screen has many different choices for you to choose. You can choose from several preloaded wallpaper backgrounds for your lock screen to have. If you want to change your lock screen, you simply click browse and choose to change your lock screen. The other options are to set up applications that you want to be able to use the notifications area on the lock screen. You can go to lock screen apps and choose which applications you want to appear on your lock screen just by clicking on a new plus and selecting an application you want to be on the lock screen. You can organize the um, applications that appear with notifications on your lock screen in any order you wish and you can have them be um, removed if you wish. This has been Jaren134. Don't forget to hit like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and you have a great day.